In this demonstration, we're going to show you how to set up uh, the ability to upload files to your App Engine application, which isn't exactly right because we're actually going to send them to Google Cloud Storage and then access them within our Google, our Google App Engine application. So this provides us a place where we can centrally store these files and you know this should be pretty straightforward. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to go into our GAE Web Dev folder and we're going to go to step 11 and here we have a project folder directory and we have an uploads.md and fortunately this is a teach me file so we can run teach me on this and we can get through a little tutorial that will show us how to create these buckets so the first thing we're going to do is we have to create one of these gcs buckets and we're going to put this into the command line but this is going to have to be something that's unique you know this actually has to be unique not only to your project but it has to be unique across all of the uh, all of the different buckets with throughout google cloud storage so we could say something like cs 1520 file upload example and we could put something in that is going to be you know pretty deliberately unique there and you can see that was now up, uploaded or updated so this has been created now we can use it but the next thing that we're going to need to do is we actually need to make it so that when we try to access files there they can be read so that's actually pretty straightforward too so we're going to go ahead and put that com that command into the command line we're going to call that sys cs 1520 file upload example and now we have a bucket where the files that are there can be read by the outside world which is useful otherwise this would be private and we could only access it within the users of our own project which might be useful for some purposes but it wouldn't be very useful for trying to serve uh, files to the rest of the internet so next up we're going to take a look at our requirements.txt file and if i go over to uh to my folder here for step 11 we can take a look at that and uh if you see here we're actually just uh we're using now flask cloud data store and then there are a few other dependencies like cloud core and g unicorn are necessary uh so we we we, you, we don't really need to get into the details of those but right now this is just telling us we're going to use the latest version of flask the latest version of data store the latest version of cloud storage the latest version of g unicorn and google cloud core and then we need our html form so that's actually going to be in our templates uh we're going to have that right in the index so you can see we are sending this to the upload uh url handler and then we have uh the file upload type and we act our name is file as well and we're going to give it a name so that's just a text field that we'll, we'll view or we'll use to, to upload and then from there we're actually going to handle that upload in main.py this is where we're handling all of our web serving code so we actually are going to create one of our objects and if we take a look at our imports here we're importing a few things uh, you know for this particular application we're also upload or uh, we're also um, importing some some Python uh, modules as well as well as some of these from uh, some of these modules from uh, Google uh, Google Cloud so we're here we're importing Google Cloud Storage and then we have this file objects that's actually representing our application objects just like we looked at in the in lecture 22 uh, this this is where we're going to use the or build the application objects that are going to be used throughout our application then we have a file data storage which is used to save those uh, different objects to the data store and an application where we have our actual business logic for our application but we're going to go back to the web serving code here and here you can see we're creating an object for our file upload we're going to retrieve that file uh, and if we don't have a file or a file that's uploaded we're going to add an error so that we can show that to the user um, but we're going to retrieve the file name from the uh, from the form and if we don't have one we're going to again show the user to the uh, or show an error to the user and if we have any errors we're going to just return and show the the page you know with the with the issues there but here's where we actually store this in cloud storage so we're going to create a gcs uh, client a cloud storage client we're going to get that bucket and that bucket name is going to be here at cs1520 image uploads but that's going to be whatever it is you set it to be uh, when you when you uh, ran your gsutil command and then we're going to uh, create a blob from that storage bucket with that particular name uh, you know this is the file name that we are file the name of the file that we uploaded and we're going to get the type the content type from that uploaded file and then we're going to just send it over to, uh, to we're going to send this uploaded file over to the blob so that's going to read that file in and then send it to the blob and then uh, once we have that we're going to save this information so this file app that's my file app right here we're going to save that file to our data store so that we know the file name and the public URL where we actually want to save that so if we look at file app this is going to 
create an uploaded file object uh, and this is going to save that and if we look at the data storage we're just going to create we're going to take an entity uh, with a URL parent or property and we're going to save that so the the uploaded file object file name is going to be the key for that and then the uploaded file URL is going to be our property and we're just going to save that now we can also retrieve it and if we look at our main.py when we show the file we're going to get the name of whatever file we want to show and then we are going to retrieve the uploaded file display and that's going to be here uh, or it's going to be in our file app which is going to uh, just go call into our data store get that uploaded file and if we have it we're going to uh, we're going to get that URL and then if we go back to our main there we get we're, we're just retrieving that and then we're going to show that page and what that's actually going to do if we take a look at the show file is actually just showing that as an image so um, if we were to run this, if we were to go ahead and uh, and, and, and execute this, uh, you know, we, we would see all everything that we need here. And you can see this is explaining we're going to get that public URL right from that blob. And if we want to take a look at how this actually works, let's go back to our terminal and uh, we can deploy this. Oh, we need to go into the project <laughs> and then deploy this. And that's going to take a moment. So we're actually going to go right to the uh, the, the URL here because uh, I've already uploaded it once so that we didn't have to wait. I'm going to go ahead and choose a file here and we'll go to documents and we'll pick this, uh, this file. We'll call this smiles and we're going to upload it. And that's going to now save that into cloud storage. And now you can see I have this show file. So if we view the page source, this is rendered based on that template. And you can see this image, dot, uh, image SRC you can see this is the URL that this is giving me, so I can actually pull that up directly. And you can, this is coming directly from Google Cloud Storage, but it serves pretty quickly so that uh, you know, we, we can actually just use it as normal within our application. So that makes it pretty easy for us to, to save the files, to store those files. And you know, now we're kind of using the Cloud Data Store in conjunction with the Google Cloud Storage so that we can identify where these things exist in Cloud Storage, but we can also save the data store so that we have a, the, the listing of our objects. And if we took a look at this, you know, you could expand this by creating a whole list of all of the different uh, files that have been saved in this service. But this is really just to give you a quick example of how we can upload a file and then display that file within App Engine, uh, you know, by leveraging this cloud storage for the actual uh, storage of our files. So hopefully this will get you started if you need to upload files for your application. And uh, thank you for watching.